We come back. I'm posting a fat minute. I think the last video I posted, I think it was like yesterday. I think it was my badge glitch. If you guys watch that video, go try now. If you guys are watching this shit and actually making a new build, I really recommend you guys make this build right here. If you guys haven't watched my badge glitch yet, go watch it right now. And it does require you make a new build. And I recommend you guys make this build right here because it's really, really OP. So first thing, I'm going to show you guys some clips of me going off with this build. So of course, this build... Is actually able to speed boost with a certain badge on. I'm gonna show you guys what badge it is and everything. I'm gonna show you guys some clips of me going off. Literally, if I have a screen and I put that first quick step on and I shoot, I can shoot from deep, I can shoot standing, I can shoot fading, anything. All right, this build is so OP. Literally, I think it's the best build in the game, in my opinion. So I'm able to speed boost, I'm able to shoot really good, I'm able to fade like a shot creator, I'm able to get steals really good because I have a pickpocket, I think, on gold or silver. So again, this this build right here, guys, I think is the best build in the game as of right now. Now, let's just say you're not really a good dribbler. You like, you know, just shooting your shots. You want to make all your shots. Make this build. But let's say you want to dribble just a bit. You want to shoot like a god and you hate shoot, getting those fat whites and shit like that. I really recommend you guys make this build right here because it's really consistent greens and shit like that. You can dribble just a bit. You can play really good defense for a sharp. And it's kind of OP. So basically, I got, I think, on this build right here, guys, I have over seven defensive badges or six. And I get, um, what do I get? I get clamps on gold. And I get pickpocket on gold. And I get, I think, uh, intimidator on silver or bronze, whatever it is. I'm not for sure what's at right now. Now I'm going to show you guys the badges that I have on my pure sharp. And I'm going to show you guys the build, the exact builds that I have for this pure sharp. Is your my player broke without badges? If so, if you guys need badges or overalls grinded up, hit up at legit grinders. Link in the description, guys. Tell them Dan sent you on the hook you right up, y'all. If you guys want to buy cheap and reliable MT or Madden coins, go hit up DVDJ.com. Link in the description, guys. Again, use code Dan for 10% off. So now I'm going to show you guys the badges that I have for my pure sharp. So of course you can put these badges if you guys want to. But um, I recommend you guys put these badges. But it's all up to you. It's all preference. Now this is what I think makes your shooting a lot better. Playing defense a lot better. And I guess getting those contact layups. So of course I'm going to show you guys my uh, attributes and shit like that. So of course since I'm an 96 overall. I get like a plus one attribute to every single thing. So of course just think of my build. One less attribute as of right now. So instead of 96 shooting. I have a 95 shooting basically so of course my badges my finishing i don't really care about i have contact finish my shooting right here guys i'm gonna go more into detail in a, in a second on my badges and so that you can pause the video if you guys want to copy these like badges that i have set up green machine is an important badge hot zone hunter also is an important badge now these two badges right here are key for playmaking quick first step right here is a key key badge for playmaking for a pure sharp and handle for days so you guys don't get really get tired from like the speed boosting shit like that so those are two must badge you guys gotta put clamps is also another uh, plus badge so clamps can actually help you guys a lot when you're getting blown by animation just like that i can stop it basically so of course you guys do need that and pickpocket have like a bonus so of course i'll go more into detail to shooting of course you guys need hall of fame catching shoe difficult shot green machine is a must dead eye i really think it was a must i put on gold hot zone hunter and quick draw and rain center are another key three badges you guys need for your pure sharp if you guys don't have those badges you're broke all right so again Make that little list on your, like, I guess, pure sharp or whatever you're going to make. Put hot zone hunter, range extender, and what was the last one, guys? Um, the quick draw. Quick draw is another must. Um, you can put it on gold, but I think quick draw hall of fame is a must, in my opinion. So now I'm going to show you guys the build. This is my build right here, but I'm going to, I guess, edit it to show you guys the exact build that I made. So, of course, you guys can make this exact build if you guys want to. But um, I'm going to go back all the way to, like, the little main menu, basically, and show you guys completely... I guess dead stock, I guess the build. So of course I'm gonna make it all from the beginning. I'm gonna put the first name and everything just to show you guys, um, you know, this is not fake. This is my build. This is the build that I, you know, made as of right now. And this is a really good build. Again, you can speed boost, you can play pretty good defense with that clamp badge on and everything like that. So of course the skill break thing I wanna put is look for the one that has like the most threes, all right? So look for the one that has literally like the most threes on the pie chart. So of course the one you guys would look for is right here, this one where it has like, you know, all the green. Now for the physical profile, always click the first one, which is the fastest speed, all right? Click on that one. You need that one because you wanna speed boost. You wanna run fast when you're playing, you know, defense or you're trying to speed boost, all right? So now with the close shot and the layup, I put at 70. That was a good range. 
Driving dunk, I don't really go for dunks for my Pierce Sharp, so I put at 41. Standing and post hook are useless. I don't want to, don't want to use that at all. Now, mid-range and three-point, I maxed it out. Free throw, I also maxed it out because I do play a lot of pro and shit like that, and you guys do need a good free throw for pro and shit like that. So I maxed it out. You guys don't have to really max it out. Now, for playmaking, very simple. I put the pass accuracy all the way up to like 83, which is because, you know, I do want to pass out of the pass. And ball handling, I put max as well. Now, for post, I want since I want to get more badges, of my playmaking i put 63 62 ish um towards my uh you know my thing so i can get more badges on my playmaking so that's why i got 13 on this one so of course right here guys for defending and rebounding max out literally like defending and everything like that you guys need interior defense you need perimeter defense you need lateral quickness you need to steal because steals are this year are super op blocks i put out a little bit 41 74 for steal 70 for you know for lateral quickness 73 for a perimeter defense, interior defense, I put 59. And this is a really good build right here. So the body shape, I don't think it even matters, to be honest. You can make him fat as shit if you guys want to. It doesn't really matter. Now, the height is a key thing right here that I found out. You can, you're can you able to speed boost off rip if you make a 6'2". But I was like, you know what? 6'2 is way too small. So I was like, you know what? I want to play some defense. I'm a spot up shooter. If we're going to play twos, I can speed boost as well. So I'm going to make him, you know, 6'5". Because if I make him 6'2", and there's really no point so make them six five as the height the weight put like you know 189 180 one of those two are goodish all right the wingspan puts like the, the lowest all right now the reason why i put the lowest because i want the highest ball control uh, or ball handling so i'm able to speed boost you know later on when i'm running an overall or when i get my takeover or when i get that get that badge the quick first step all right so right here, plus 77, the lowest wingspan. Now, the takeover is a key thing, all right? Now, for me, the play style that I like playing, sharp. Now, if you're a shot creator, you like taking fades a lot more than, like, you know, threes and spot ups, then pick the shot creator one. Now, if you like doing, like, what I do, you can fade from three. You can shoot more of, like, the spot up type of sharp. Make, um, choose a takeover with the sharp. So now I'm going to show you guys a gameplay of me going off. Basically, not really going off, but if I do miss, I'm going to show it. I'm going to kind of cut it out and everything. I want to show you guys the purely the build. This is me playing, I think, when I'm at 95 or 96. I'm not really for sure. I think it's when I'm at 95 because I just hit 96, so it doesn't even matter. To be honest, I don't think it's oh, 94. Wow, I'm even lower. But um, I don't think it's even a difference, to be honest, guys. So again, if you're wondering, 94, 96, um, you just get one attribute plus when you're 96. But of course, guys, we're going against right here is a level three score. So they're kind of OP. And this guy was doing an OPS, you know, method or strategy, how he was playing. You know, he'll set the screen and he'll sh like, you know, fade from like, you know, deep as shit from three. And he'll get greens. Now, this guy was going off on me. I was kind of getting dropped off in the beginning of the game. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about in a couple seconds. This guy right here is going off with the little crown right here. He was going off on me. I'm not going to lie with you guys. Um, he was completely fading on me and he was getting greens no matter what. So here he sets a screen He's gonna go all the way to the right side and just fade and just green it every single time Now if y'all play like how this guy played where you know He sets screens and he just did fades all day and you know just shot the three and shit like that Um, you can play like that and like how you a bitch or anything But like, you know, it's kind of a sorry way to play He fades another one a crazy ass three. He fades that one kind of crazy how he made that shit But I guess um three level scores make that dumb ass shit for some reason not for sure why but they do so right here guys um low-key we're kind of like struggling and um, remember i told you guys to put the badge on where he made that shit that was like almost a 90 percent coverage and he made that shot i don't know how he made it but he made it but again if you guys remember um the, the badge that i put on pickpocket now i told you guys to always put that badge on for a pure shot which is kind of crazy how you get that badge and right here guys we get the steal easily because of that pickpocket now i'm not gonna let you guys i missed right here so i'm gonna show you guys in a couple seconds um i do sold uh, i do sell kind of and uh i take a fade away and i just completely miss all right now i'm not gonna lie guys to be honest this dude right here guys was actually playing some pretty good defense i don't know if you guys see how he's playing he's actually playing pretty good defense and this guy was actually just spamming us to be honest but again this dude right here guys on guardian gets he was actually playing some pretty good defense um right here i think around here is when i start i, I think i missed my first um uh, my first fade away i miss right here i don't know i got a bounce back i bricked it i was tired and I break this right here. He left me open. I guess he thought he, uh, you know, center got the board. I green that shit. So now right here, this is where it begins. This is where I start going off. I figured out how he plays. I saw he, how, you know, how he plays defense and shit like that. Once I figured you out, you're kind of fucked. So, so right here, I use that badge, a quick first step badge, and I do a quick ass like hezzy, and I go all the way to the left side, and I just fade. 
Now, when I put like him, you know, how he fades on me, I just kept on doing the same shit he did. Now, towards the end of the game, I started more like deck scene type of thing, more like a, you know, 2K19 type of style of play. So right here, the guard, the, the center didn't even want to pick up for some reason. I don't know why he didn't want to pick up. The boy got hit by the screen. I got open. I shot the ball and I made it. Now, you do get a lot of whites that go in with a pure sharp. So if you're wondering um, why the fuck that happens, I have no idea. So here, I'm always left open. This guy's a pretty good defense. I'm not going to lie with you guys. But um, I'm going to show you guys, I right hear another fade. I green it again. It's pretty easy to fade. You know, it's not that hard. This game is kind of OP with the fades and stuff like that. If you guys, if you guys have difficult shot on Hall of Fame, it's literally broken. I'm not going to lie with you guys. And right here, guys, this is where I start dexing. Now, this guy right here, for some reason, he couldn't guard it. Like I said six minutes ago during this video, guys, when I'm making this video, you can speed boost. You can get open yourself. You can left, right, cheese. You can do everything with this build. You can play defense with this build, and it's just so OP. I'm just going off right now. Now, of course, you guys need some badges when doing this little build right here. So, of course, do a little badge glitch first. Come back, you know, come to park, and then, you know, play with your mans. Shoot from deep. Ranger Center is a must. Hot Zone Hunter is a must. Uh, you, know, you know, difficult shot is another must. I feel um, with this build right here, guys, I think this is the best build in the game as of right now. Now, later on, they could change. You know, it could change within like a couple of weeks. It could change tomorrow. It can change the next day. But as of right now, I feel this build is the best. You, you can do everything in the game, which is kind of OP. So, of course, um, I hope you did the video. I hope you guys do like it, the build that I gave you guys. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.